26. Amazon Capital up here. Must be close to the distribution center. I say about, about six vans. Exit 2 on the right, towards South Carolina 35 North, then keep left. 
at the traffic light. Turn left at the traffic light. Since I saw that, that student driver a few miles back, the number one thing I would tell a rookie driver if I was a trainer and I was training a student, watch out for the brake lights. When you look ahead, always look for the brake lights. I'm not gonna say always look for them, but just keep an eye on the brake lights. If you see a lot of brake lights up ahead, you just know that ease up off the gas just be aware be alert i mean because they're breaking for a reason so just slow down a little bit try to time these red lights so you don't got to come to a complete stop i'm going to try to try to ease it on up See that, that truck just made a left turn, so he got the green arrow. So by the time I get to this pan, there it go. Got to ease, yeah, you got to ease into the red light. Ease into it, where you don't come to a complete stop. I was trying to get past that router truck, but his takeoff was a lot quicker than mine. In one in the corner lines. Turn right on 12th Street Extension. Yeah, this takeoff is a lot quicker. That's why you don't want to come to a complete stop if you can, if you can help it. Just try to get there right when it turns green. You got to time them lights just right. You got to know. If you see a yellow light coming from a distance, you got to know if you're going to be able to make it before it turns completely red or not. You don't want to slam on brakes and end up stuck in the middle. Either you're going to come to a complete stop at a yellow light coming up to or you're going to have to shoot on through. You don't want to slam on brakes and then you might have a load shift. So I got a green light coming up right now. I'm letting out the gas just a little bit just in case I, I come to it. But when you get to that point of no return, you got to keep on trucking. Like right now, I'm at the point of no return, gotta keep on trucking. Then when I turn yellow, but right now I'm empty, so I can stop pretty quick. This camera, I don't know how this camera makes it look. It may make it look like I'm going faster than what I'm going. Turn right at the traffic light. But I'm actually only going 35. Speed limit is 40. I'm going 35 right now. Here we go. CMC. Haven't been here in a long time. Turn left on New State Road. Here we go. Hopefully we ain't here all night. My memory serves me correctly. Turn left on New State Road. Might you think you gotta pull up, use the CB? I think that might might be how it works. I can't remember. But I do know when you get down here, as soon as you get ready to make this not this left, but the next left. If I see a whole bunch of trucks lined up, I know I'll be here a while. I'm about to find out. Let me see, let me see. I can see inside the plant right now. I can see inside the plant right now. Montgomery Trucks. 
truck over there strapped. Arriving at 310 New State Road, Casey, Another South Carolina, Montgomery. 2903, ELS. on the left. This ain't my gate. This is where my GPS took me to this gate. Well, we got to go on the next, the next gate. Dodge Pothole. left up here. We we'll make this left. We'll be able to see the trucks in line. Stop signs come to a complete stop. No matter what. Two trucks lined up already. Oh, three trucks. Yep. Looks like it might be a while, gang. Looks like it might be a while. I'm about to go up here and talk to these drivers. They might have appointment times. We're going to find out. CMC now adding owner operators. Hey, we got about, man, we got about seven trucks in front of me, man. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, guess what? Hey, let me, hey, let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. First, let me pull over up here real quick. First, let me pull over up here real quick. Let me tell y'all something, man. My name is Dion Melvin. Dion Melvin. Flatbed game, Mr. Flatbed game. When I seen this line, when I seen that line, and I talked to that driver in front of me, I counted seven trucks in front of me, and that Western Express driver, and right in front of me, I said, I, I, I went up to him, I asked him, I said, do you have an appointment time? And he said, I, I didn't know they took appointments. And I seen something on Facebook, man, I seen something on Facebook maybe like two months ago about this place and, and it was something that was people were saying they're requiring appointments now because they were paying out too much detention. I didn't see this from PNS. I seen this like in another trucking group, like some different people talking about it. So it's like, um, I know, so I asked my dispatcher before she gave me the load today. I was like, hey, do you have to have an appointment? And my dispatcher was like, no, you just you just show up. You shouldn't need an appointment. I asked my dispatcher that. And she asked somebody else. She didn't just tell me off the top of her head. She asked somebody else. And they was like, no, you don't need an appointment. Just pull up. They'll be able to load you. That's what she told me two hours ago. Cause I had to deadhead two hours to get here. So I get here. I see this long line. I'm like, no. It's 4.08. This load I was supposed to pick up is going to Knoxville, Tennessee. But, I, man, I'm going to be here all night. I'll be taking a 10-hour break here and still got to get up in the morning and drive about 300 miles to Knoxville. No, sir. D is not taking this load. So I already called my dispatcher. I said, hey, I'm not taking this load. Take me off. Give me something else. So she just got me another load. Going to Alkalu. Yeah, he got a fucking pilot truck. A pilot. Yeah. That's a Montgomery truck that just passed me. He got a damn pilot truck behind him. Hey, Montgomery always pulling some long stuff. Hey, no homo. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> All right, man. Let me get my ass back in this truck, man, and head to Alkalu. y'all think about this come get a preload 
I waited in line for 10 hours to load up some rebar or angle iron, whatever it was. And still got to drive, still had to drive to Kentucky. What y'all think about this? I'll take the preload. Night train, baby. Night train. Ain't got time to play. I gotta go home and see Georgia, Alabama. Hey, guess what? I'm going for Georgia, baby. Bulldogs.